I got Mr. Matthew standing next to me, and we are excited because we're going to have a good class plan for you tonight. Uh, Mr. Matthew's going to get you sweating to start, and then we're going to introduce some new techniques for most of you. Uh, some of you that have been around a long time have probably done some of these before, but uh, to give you a little hint, we're going to be working a lot of back kicks tonight. So if you don't know what a back kick is, you'll get to learn tonight, and then obviously you back black belts that have been around a really long time. We maybe have done back kicks before, but it's been a long time. So uh, we're gonna do a lot of that tonight. That'll be fun, it'll be a good workout, and it'll be different, because as I said, we haven't done those in quite some time. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Feet together, hands at our side. No me, bow, Mr. Matt, go ahead, get them started. All right, so we're, uh, we're gonna start off here by having our feet in a parallel position, so the feet apart, two hands up by the chin. We're going to be working ones and twos, so we're going to have our one going across here, pivot, and then two going back the other way. Okay? Go. So again, make sure you guys are rotating your body a whole lot. You should rotate your shoulders, your hips, and pivot as well. All right, a little faster. Speed it up some. And let's change it to our hook. So on the hook, you gotta lead with your shoulder and then have your punch come across. Other hand stays up here by the face to protect and you're still pivoting too, you gotta pivot. All right, change those to the uppercuts. Straight punches over and over. Good. All right, and relax. All right, next one's going to be our jumping jack. So I'm going to have you guys go for about 10 seconds on a jumping jack. Ready? Go. Jumping jacks, jumping jacks. Five. Four, three, two, one. Jumping jack, star jack. Jumping jack, star jack. Go, go, go. Jumping jack first, star jack second. Over and over. Five, four, three, two, one. And start kicking. We're doing our front kicks. Front kicks, each leg, snap it out. Keep those hands up. All right, turn those to a knee. to a round kick going off to each side here. Keep your body upright as you kick. Don't lean too much. Keep those hands up and we snap it out. Snap. All right, move on to a side kick. Those are going to go right behind us. So I'm going to turn sideways so you guys can see, but we'll be here, we'll look, side kick, look, side kick, go. And relax, all right. Next one we're going into is gonna be a burpee. So I'm gonna have you guys be squatting, out, push, up, jump front left, jump front right, and burpee again. Okay, one more time, burpee, come up, jump front left, jump front right, and then keep going. You got 20 seconds, go.
Again, it's a burpee. Once you come up, two jump front kicks. Jump front left, jump front right, and do it again. You got 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. All right, left foot in front, and hit up. On this one here, we're gonna go through a leg raise, so we are gonna be doing both. So all you have, will have to do, leg raise, step back. Leg raise, step back every time. Go, 20 seconds. Next one's gonna be some uh, inners and outers for our crescent kicks. So we're gonna start the right side here with doing outer, go back to inner, switch, outer, back to inner. We're just going back and forth, okay? Go. Outer, inner, outer, inner. And then redo it. Outside, Inside, outside, inside. Okay, moving on to the next one here. It's gonna be our squats. So up the squats, going down and up, okay? Go. Keep your back straight as we do it. Imagine you're taking a seat between your two feet. I'll tell you, you should be thinking about it. You're sitting down between both feet. If you can, you should go all the way down. Uh, what that means is your bottom actually touches where your heels are. You gotta have some flexibility though. Again, you wanna try to make your bottom touch your heels. All right, when you guys come up, add in two random punches. You could do jab, upper, or hook, straight punch, anything you want. 15 more seconds, go. The squat, two random punches. Try to make the combos different. You could do two of the same one, two straight ones, two uppercuts, jab, hook, Jab, uppercut, five seconds, keep going. Three, two, one, relax. All right, we're moving on to the ground now. So while on the ground here, we're gonna go through push-up. I'm gonna give you guys about 10 seconds for each type of push-up. The first one is your close grip. So the way you guys will be doing it is hands like a diamond, and either from your knees here, you can do your push-up, or you can do it also for a full body, which is a little bit harder, but we're just going down and up. You got 10 seconds. Go. Five seconds. All right, move on to a middle grip. Middle grip push up. So that's a regular push up. Go, go, go. We got 10 more seconds here. And again, I'm timing you guys so you guys can do as many as you want to. If you want to work real hard, get that hard workout. If you want to take it a little easier, you can do that too. All right, move on to a wide grip. Wide grip push up. Go, go, go. You got 10 more seconds. Keep moving. Tyler, I can't even see you. You got to get in the camera. I want to make sure you're working, Tyler. There you go, you're trying to hide. Okay, and relax for a moment. Everybody relax and stay down, but look over here at me. So I'm gonna have you guys take a little rest for about 15, 20 seconds while I explain the next one. And we're gonna be working on pretty much our full body. It's a really good ab workout too. It's gonna be a plank. So we're gonna start by holding a plank with our arms extended here. So you'll do this one for about 20 or 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna say start to do your, uh, your plank to push up. And that means go down, do your forearms, and then back up 
to your push-up here without letting your body wobble too much. So again, I'm going down and back up, really making sure to tighten our core. Okay, everybody go ahead and get ready in your plank position. We're going to hold it up in the air like this for 30 seconds. All right, go ahead and get started. So some rules are for the plank to have you guys you know, keep your, your form are to look ahead. If you look straight ahead, you'll have better form. If your hands are about shoulder width apart, maybe a little wider. Your back is all the way straight. And again, you gotta keep your core engaged. So squeeze your core. That's what you're trying to focus on for the most part. All right, now do your plank to push up. Go ahead, so down to the forearms and then back up. Every time you guys do it, try to have a different arm go down first, just so it adds one more aspect to it that you gotta think about. A different arm goes down first each time. All right, we're looking good here. Keep it moving, guys. Five. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, standing back up here to our feet. We've got a few more things to do, and then we're almost done. Okay, left foot front, and say, Hia! All right, so this one here, I'm gonna give you guys a quick combo. You guys can follow me so that we understand. We're gonna go through a jab. Go ahead and stick your jab out there. Follow up with an elbow. We're gonna come back with a knee. Land and back, round kick from your lead leg, okay? All right, try it again, ready? So jab, elbow, knee, round kick. One more time again. Jab, elbow, knee, put it back, round kick. All right, we got 20 seconds on your own. Go. Jab, elbow, knee, round kick. Turn into a double round. So that means low, high. Make it a double round. And switch. Other side in front. All right. One more combo this time. So everybody, hands up here. Take your rear leg, front kick, put it in back. Follow up with your front leg. We're gonna go around and then down for an ax kick. It's a little bit different than what we're used to. So again, it was front kick, put it back, ax kick from your front leg, and then we're gonna follow up side kick from that same one, okay? Right, one more time again. Front, bring it around, ax, turn, side kick. All right, 20 seconds, go. Front, X, side. Keep going, keep going. Five more seconds. And everybody go ahead and relax. All right, very good. Okay guys, so we got one more thing for us to go through and uh, we're gonna have a little competition here. It's gonna be a tuck jump competition. Yes, your favorite. So, uh, on a tuck jump, it's pretty easy. All we have to do is tuck the knees up high repetitively without pausing. So up, over and over and over again. Now, I want you guys to try and do that for about 30 seconds straight. And uh, if you're going through it, because it is a contest, if you're doing it right, and you all of a sudden stop, and you're maybe doing something like that, which is not a tuck jump, you're gonna have to drop down, start pushing, okay? And then whoever's left at the end of 30 seconds is considered a winner for the contest. All right, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you understood everything I just said. Good, okay, perfect. All right, 
again, we got 30 seconds. If you stop tuck jumping, start pushing. Ready, set, go. Get started. Again, the knees have got to go up on the tuck jump. You got to get the knees up. If you pause, you're out. We're looking good so far. Get those knees up. You got to bring the knees up high to that chest. We're halfway, guys. Halfway there. That means you got 15 more seconds. Now you got 10 more. 10 more seconds. If you stop, you got to start pushing. All right. Five, four, three, two and a half, one, and stop. Okay, excellent job. So it looks like all we had that stayed in was all the mirrors family. Great job, guys. And then Mark, I don't think I saw anybody else that was still in. Maybe, maybe one more, but you guys did great. All right, go ahead and face this way. And hung ye bow. All right, good way to start the class, guys. Um, we're gonna move on while you're catching a breath for just a second. We're gonna uh, ex uh, talk about what we're doing next. So I mentioned back kicks earlier. So we are gonna do some back kicks, but before we do that, I wanna work one hand technique that we haven't done for a while. Uh, it's similar to a spinning back fist, but it's called a side spinning hammer fist. So it's just a different take on a move that you guys are already used to doing. So take a look at Mr. Matt real quick. He's gonna demonstrate into the camera. Uh, to execute a side spinning hammer fist, it's done exactly the same as the spinning back fist except the position of the hand at the point of contact. When you come out and you make contact, it's gonna be with the side of the fist, okay? Not the back of the knuckles. It's actually a little safer than a, than a spinning back fist. Uh, obviously, we've got small bones in the back of our fist, so if you execute a spinning back fist, there is a little bit of danger of hurting yourself. If you're using the side spinning hammer fist, that danger is gonna be minimized a little bit more because you're hitting with a very thick part of your hand. So if you want to look at Mr. Matthew real quick on the pad, he's going to be uh, facing the target, head level, turn, look, hammer across and through. Make sure you follow through the target. Turn, look, hammer hard. Very powerful. It's a knockout technique. If you got a partner, get to holding a pad for them and start working it. If you're by yourself, Go ahead and revert to your shadow boxing drill where you're moving, imagining an opponent, and striking, okay, over and over. Go ahead and just take a minute. Only about a minute, that's all we got. Go ahead and work it. Follow through the target. Lots of power, Jake, nice. Remember the position of your hand as you strike, you're sideways. Sideways. Follow through completely. Remember guys, sometimes following through means taking that front foot and going past the point of contact with that front leg. Go past the point of contact. Good. All right, last few seconds. That was a quick minute. It's almost up. Finish it up. And go on, go ahead and stop. All right, I think you guys got it. Um, that's a simple technique, guys, and it's so powerful. So if you can remember how to do that one, that one will, will help you out when you need it. I promise you, it's, it's that powerful. All right, next up is our back kick. The back kick is one that we've done, we have done in our classes over the years, but we don't do it a lot. Uh, even our black belts, even our senior black belts haven't done a whole lot of back kicks. So let's take a look at Mr. Matthew so we can see how it's executed and then we'll get to practicing it, okay? The back kick works like this. It's designed to stop somebody in their tracks who is coming at you from behind. Let's say Mr. Matthew had a, a problem with me. He decided to walk away and I said, well, you're not walking away. I'm coming to get you, right? That back kick can stop me in my tracks if you can execute it fast enough and powerful enough. So here's how it works with a partner. Um, when your partner is behind you, they're going to take a couple steps towards you. You step, step, change her, and kick straight back. Now, Mr. Matt, show them the position of the foot when it strikes. The knee chamber's up in front of you. You fully extend behind you, 
hitting with the heel and the toes are pointed down. So it's similar to a side kick, except you're never rotating sideways nor kicking sideways. You're staying facing away, chambering in front of your body and kicking behind your body. So it's basically a straight line from the chamber to the kick without turning the hips, okay? So I want you guys to go ahead and practice if you're by yourself, Go to shadow boxing, you know how it's done. If you happen to have partners that can hold for you, then have some fun with them behind you. Step, step, chamber, and kick. Go ahead and practice, guys. One minute on this one, because we have other versions that we want to practice. If you're by yourself, switch legs every once in a while also, and practice aiming for the stomach, the solar plexus, right in that area is your target. Step, step, kick back. Lean forward a little bit, get a good stretch. That's it, Jake. Good stretch. All the mirrors, y'all are doing it pretty good, but it's kind of reverse of what we said. Walk forward and then kick. See what I'm saying? There you go. Walk forward, turn, kick. That's right. it. Remember, we're stopping somebody who's advancing towards us from behind. Ava, you got it. Look over the shoulder on the side that you're kicking with. So if you're kicking with your right, look over the right when you kick, okay? All right, guys, go ahead and stop there. Stop there, we're gonna move on to the next version of the back kick. I want you to try a jumping back kick. And this can be for everybody, no matter what belt, beginners, intermediate, advanced, doesn't matter. So you're gonna take your same couple of steps, step, step. As soon as you plant the foot, the non-kicking leg, jump and thrust back behind you. It's gonna kinda of supercharge your kick and add that much more power to it. Step, step, chamber, jump and kick, okay? So I'm gonna give you a little less time on this one since it's basically the same kick, just with a jump at the end of it. So take about 30 to 45 seconds, do a few repetitions, and then we'll move on, okay? Go ahead, guys. Step, step, chamber kick. Jake, don't hurt your holder there. Whoa, nice kick, Jake. You need to get you a heavy bag, Jake. <laughs> I don't think anybody could hold that one for you. Come on, Des Moines. All right, Des Moines. Hit with that heel. Step, step, jump. Step, step, jump. Imagine that bad guy's closing in on you and you gotta stop them in their tracks. Diksha, try not to open your body up too much. You wanna keep your body more facing away from where you're kicking. If you open your body too much, it'll be a side kick, which is good, but it's different. All right, last few seconds. Time's running out on us. Shauna, make sure that you're looking where you want to kick. And go mine. Go ahead and stop there, guys. Okay, so let's go on to the next version of the back kick. So most of you can probably guess already. It's a spinning back kick, okay? So it's very similar to all of our other spin kicks. Beginners, you can do this too, okay? It's not, it's not so advanced that you can't do it. So watch. We're gonna start facing the target. Imagine the bad guy's in front of you, right? I want you to turn away 180 degrees. That's when you execute the kick, as soon as you're facing away. So you don't continue the rotation. If you turn away and you continue to rotate back towards me, then it turns into a side kick. We don't want that right now because we're not practicing side kicks. So go 180 degrees from facing me to facing away. Once you're facing away, execute the kick. Okay, spinning back kick, spinning back kick. All right, go ahead and get to work, guys. Try both legs if you want, or try your strong side, whatever you're comfortable with. 30 to 45 seconds, we're not gonna go too long on it. So you gotta start facing the target. Face the target to start, and then start your rotation. Good job, Tyler. Keep
Keep those toes pointed down. Remember, toes pointed down. You want the foot sliding in between the guard. In between the guard is where you want the foot sliding. So it actually is a good way to sneak your foot in between the opponent's guard. If he's doing a side kick, I can block just by closing up my arms. If he's doing a spinning back kick, it's easier to slide through the guard because the foot is much narrower, okay? So keep those toes pointed down. Last couple seconds. So Ava, remember, spin. Look, don't just turn. Spin from here to here and then do the kick, okay? So just a little bit more, a little bit more advanced. Turn and kick. Jack, you're looking good. Just again, eye your target. Make sure you're looking at it when you kick. All right, go on. Go ahead and stop there, guys. Everybody stop. Okay, so the next one is, this is our self-defense combo for this week. And we're continuing with the theme of doing some ground defense or integrating some ground defense into our self-defense combo for this week. So we're doing a front fall. Now I know some of you had hard floors, so I don't want anybody going down hard or fast. We're gonna kind of pretend on this part, at least until we get back on the mats in the studio. So on this one, pretend push if you have a partner, just a little nudge. You go down easy on this part. You don't have to go down hard. Once you're on the ground, take your defensive position, cover, right? Cover your head a couple times. Then you pop up and start the combo. Here's the combo. Back fist, hammer fist, knee and push. Once you do that, spinning side hammer fist, spinning back kick to finish. All ranks can do this one. It doesn't matter if you're white belt or black belt, okay? All ranks. Little shove, you fall. Cover your head real good, cover your body. Hop up, do the combo. Back fist, hammer fist, knee, push. Spin side hammer fist, spin back kick to finish, okay? With Mr. Matthew uh, in the screen, take a look at him one more time. Do it with him if you can't remember it. So let's go ahead, Mr. Matt. Fall, turn, cover, pop up. As soon as you pop up, start it. Back fist, hammer fist, knee push, spin hammer fist, spin back, okay? Take just one minute, that's all we have. One minute, do as many reps as you can, okay? If your floor is super hard and you don't wanna fall, that's okay, you don't have to fall. The main point of it is those spinning hammer fists and those spinning back kicks. That's up to you guys. If you can do the fall, do it, okay? If the floor is too hard, then skip it. I don't want you getting hurt. Back fist, hammer fist. Good idea, Jake. Smart, do it on the couch, nice. Got it, Shauna. Hammer fist, Shauna. Knee push, spin hammer fist, spin back kick. All right, Shauna, you got it. Couple repetitions left, that's all we got. All right, go on, my. go ahead and stop there, guys. All right, guys, so y'all picked that up pretty quick. Uh, we did good with it. We're gonna work it some more the rest of this week. Um, and I wanna remind you guys, I'm giving you different combos every week to expose you guys to different types of attacks and different methods of countering those attacks. So again, you don't have to remember the specific movements in a real life self-defense situation. What I want you to do is have some muscle memory built up so you can come up with your own combo of strikes and kicks and blocks of whatever you need when, when you need it and when you're being attacked. And if we keep practicing the way we're practicing, we're gonna be able to achieve that. I'm gonna turn it back over to Mr. Matthew. He's got a quick uh, exercise he's gonna do with you guys, and then we'll wrap it up. Okay, so um, we're gonna play a little game here that uh, you guys probably haven't played in a long time. It's gonna be like Simon says, it's called Mr. Matt Says. Um, a lot of you guys know how to play the game. If you don't, I gotta say Mr. Matt Says, and you guys gotta do it. 
Uh, and if you do the command, when I didn't say those words, you're at the game. Now, since you guys are a lot older, you're going to be a lot harder to get out, especially over uh, the camera here or the computer. So I'm going to go kind of hard. And uh, if you get out of the game, just be honest, have a seat. And I'm going to give you maybe about two minutes. If anybody is still in, by the end of the next two minutes, you'll be our winner of the game. Could have one of us, might have three or four of us. Okay, Mr. Matt says the game starts now. Again, be honest if you guys are out and just kind of take a knee or have a seat. All right, should be up. All right, if you went to attention, you are out of the game. Again, I gave a fair warning. I was gonna go kind of hard because it's gonna be tough to get you guys out. All right, Mr. Matt says, turn up. Mr. Matt says, honey, Jumbi, ready position. Mr. Matt says, Jumbi, ready position. Mr. Matt says, left foot front and say, here. Mr. Matt says, you're gonna go through a combo of a jab, reverse, hook, uppercut. All right, ready? You hear uh, some kind of squealing in the background, ignore it. I think we just found a dog. Okay, ready? One. Huh. All right, if you did it, you're out. Dixra, I saw you. Two. The more I have a seat. Mr. Matt says two. Huh. Mr. Matt says three. Huh. Mr. Matt says four. Huh. And Mr. Matt says five. Huh. And switch, other side. Mr. Matt says switch. All right, Mr. Matt says when I count, let's take, uh, how about our back leg here? We'll throw out a front kick and a kia. One. Mr. Matt says one. Okay, all the mirrors, have a seat. I'll tell you why after. Andre, have a seat. All right, there's only, only ones I caught. Ready, three. Mr. Matt says three. Mark, have a seat. Dang, how is Samantha still in? The only one that doesn't do Taekwondo and she's, <laughs> she's still in. Wait, hold on, I don't know if you won. Who's still in here? Raise your hand if you're still in the game. Ava, are you still in or are you out? Ava's out? All right, that's it, Samantha, you won. Good job. Now real quick, let me explain why uh, some of you guys got out when it was a simple move. So. I tricked you, obviously, but we had our hands up here, and what I said was, let's take our back leg, which means rear leg, and we'll do a front kick. But I showed you my front leg. I was trying to trick you, but I said back leg, which is why it's a listening game. So that's why some of you guys got out, if you were wondering. All right, great job. Okay, guys, uh, take a knee real quick so we can wrap it up. Uh, thanks for joining in tonight. Um, we uh, had a good class. You guys got a good workout. Worked on some uh, new techniques for some and some review for, for the old timers that have been around forever. Uh, so that was good stuff. Uh, those back kicks, don't forget them. We're going to work them the rest of this week and probably next week also. Uh, and then hopefully by then we'll be able to be back in the studio. I mean, I keep hearing that we're getting closer and closer. Uh, so we got our fingers crossed. We're hoping and praying that that, that happens uh, here in the next week. Um, uh, we're just watching the news and, and, like I said, hoping that it happens. So we'll we'll see. Uh, but anyway, you guys did great today. Um, those of you that uh, needed stripes on your belts, I think most of us were black belts tonight, or half of us at least. So you don't need stripes tonight. But those of you that needed them, if you if your parents went and picked them up, you can go ahead and put them on your belts. Okay, you should have two stripes or five stripes, depending on what rank you are, two or five, okay? Um, and if you didn't get those stripes and you needed to pick them up, then talk to your mom and dad, get them to contact Miss Haley at Wellington or Miss Hannah at West Palm Beach, and they will tell you where to pick up those stripes, okay? All right, we're gonna go ahead and bow out. Everybody stand up, please. Feet together, hands at our side. Cheerio. up. Young man, bow. Tenants of Taekwondo, Shija. Sir, courtesy. Integrity, perseverance, self-control, indomitable spirit, sir. Young Nay, good night, guys, and we'll catch up on the next class. Thank you very much.
Bye, Des Moines. What was going on out there? Matthew was like, why is Hannah down on the floor? And saw the Matthew receive. Then there were two adults sitting on the ground. We couldn't see from here. But in the corner, um, a when, the, when some of the kids had opened the door earlier, a stray dog came in, mm -hmm. little teeny tiny chihuahua, and it was cowering in the corner. Uh -huh. And those two people kind of just looking at people and they were sitting on the ground. And they said that they'd seen him running around all day and they were trying to get to him. And he was like, oh, I'm just waiting for you. And so I thought I'd be over there, but it's really scary. And so they were just kind of you know, inching towards it and he was a hot dog he was throwing at it. But she was so scared. And then she called him underneath the shelf. And he went to go reach her and she screamed bloody hard like she was being killed. She, she wasn't being hurt. She was so scared. Oh, 